the Australian government has done something positive around gaming. Yes, you are hearing us correctly. Uh, as part of uh, some of the federal budget for 2021 announcements this week and next week, as they normally do, they drip out some stuff. And this is a part of like a whole set of, you know, reforms that they're doing. But one part of it that's interesting to us is that they're offering a 30% tax break to Australian video game developers, uh, which is very, very cool. That's like, I think you can't say anything negative about this. This, Yeah, this, um, I was trying to, like, I was looking through everything, trying to think, it's not about trying to find a negative approach, but trying to be, like, skeptical because you're like, well, this sounds too good to be true. And I think it just, there's nothing negative about this at all. Yeah. And, and Australia has a history of doing this. So we actually have a lot of uh, movies that are produced and filmed in Australia because there are tax breaks for it. And, you know, it kind of makes sense because you want to bring productions over here. They have to hire people locally. And the video game industry has been lobbying for quite a while to have the same type of effect for video games. And I do wonder, because Sledgehammer, so they're working on the next Call of Duty game. And they have a big office now in Melbourne and they're hiring stacks of people. Like I keep an eye on LinkedIn for video game stuff as well. And yeah, it's crazy the amount of people they're hiring in Melbourne. And I do wonder if they, maybe they understood from the government that this was starting to change. That's what I was thinking is that, you know, those expansion plans, we covered that back in episode 32 Mm. and they announced that, although they'd already had an office there, they, a lot of that news started coming out in February and it's like, we're, you know, we know a lot of this stuff travels around, you know, the industry before it becomes public oh, yeah. knowledge. You know, did they know? Because that 100% lines up why they would do these massive expansion plans in mm. Melbourne. Yeah. And and I think it makes sense, right? Because, well, like from a lobbying perspective, I don't, people kind of look at it as being a bit insidious. But the reality is, you know the government has a bunch of lawyers that they've hired to draft stuff. They're not business people. So they need to talk to the people and say, you know, if we write it in this way, is this actually helpful for you? Because if they write it in a poor way, people might go, you know what? This doesn't even help. So Mm. you've done this and you're throwing away money in it. You know, what's the point? Um, So yeah, like there's some minimums around, you know, they need to be a company and it's really like be based in Australia and, you know, have, you know, half a million dollars sort of, you know, spend, but like, it's all stuff that if you're talking about some of the big Australian games, uh, like Untitled Goose Game, Moving Out, uh, Hollow Knight, I, like from my understanding of reading all of this, all of these people will qual- qualify for this. Yeah. Um, and, and that's massive for them, man. That's like 30% off your tax bill is huge. And I'm so glad that they've put the provision that the games can't mm. have gambling elements or and yeah well refuse classification is makes sense that's that's mm. straightforward but the gambling element because then suddenly that that just cuts off um people trying to really abuse it for a lot of those crappy mobile game apps that and we we're not going to cover it but there was a great four, cor- uh, four corners uh coverage on abc about you know mobile gaming addiction and you know that's it's just so, I'm so glad they put that provision in. Yeah, no, no, true. No, so like really, really cool. Uh, very good. So when uh, Mike and I start our own studios, we'll take advantage of this. Won't we, Mike? Absolutely. <laughs> when I don't we know get what our, we're going to blow 500,000 on, but we'll figure it out. When we do our game builder garage games, we could be uh, advertising. We could. Look at that discount on your advertising. All right, uh, let's get into my favorite segment of the week. The bargain bin. 